What's happening? Welcome to another edition of Funk Shop TV. I don't know what I'm doing, but I wanted to get on before midnight, so hopefully we logged, uh, because I'm just trying to fill in some of the hours and fill in some of the days. Um, I, I'm not sure what the host command is. We are uh, for chat. I'm trying out the chat bots. So I got Nightbot. Um. Oh, forward slash host before the name. So you got to do forward slash host. Like forward slash host space and, then name. and then space and then the at function of TV that's how you host no you don't at yeah to take somebody's name well you don't have to but you can oh okay yeah yeah that's right so you're watching function of TV if you're watching um I'm Biggs Mike's sitting here with me for a minute he had a long day and his legs bothering him he got attacked by a dog he didn't really get attacked by a dog. But I, got, I got mauled by a bear. Mauled by a bear? I went to you so everybody can see you drinking the water <clears throat> in the back of Darth Vader's head right at your back, chin. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> should probably move the it's Darth like right Vader. underneath my chin. I probably should put Darth Vader over here. He got, I got uh, cookies over here. Should We should put a cookie on here. So everybody comes to the dark side. No, I still see you. Or, uh, I'm st I'm watching, watching it on my phone, so it's still showing. So it didn't switch to your channel. <clears throat> yeah, we're still we're good, Sean. What are you doing, buddy? How you living? Oh, did you guys figure figure out that connection? Um, we did, but we didn't. Okay. Uh, Apparently, there's a in the cell phone. It has an audio loop that's constantly moving. Uh, and then I went live yesterday, and I was having some static issue, so I narrowed it down to having to pull the line to the monitor speaker. So, mm -hmm. got to redo some a few things. But, right. um, Funk Shop TV is always hosting you, Sean Rainey. Um, but even if we're hosting you, it doesn't matter because when we're live it overrides our hostings so what's up Michael you want to talk 
You're just chilling? No, I'm just chilling. Got off work. Kind of a busy day this morning or this afternoon. Got all closing today. And got my notes and projects done after, before 5 o'clock. And after that, it was like, what to do? Try to go find other things to do and make sure everything was cleaned up and zoned. Organized. Well, other than that, just another cool day at work. Another cool day. Just another cool day at work, yeah. Just another cool day at work. Yep. Lovely. Yeah, very lovely. Shauna. Sean wants to know if anyone wants to buy his DJI Phantom 3 drone. I don't know what that means. Oh, I, I know what it means. How much? Uh, Michael said he knows what it means. How much? So you guys can talk talk amongst yourselves, right? Sean and Michael, to figure out what a a fair price for the DJI Phantom 3 drone. Um, Michael's interested in it. So hi guys. Oh, we have actually five viewers right now. Look at that. I don't even know what to talk about. I know this weekend, um, Sunday, we're going to have a long show. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, oh, Tom. I just saw Tom's Tom's in a baseball tournament this weekend, but it was canceled due to rain. That's lame. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of things this weekend, um, including... <laughs> Sean just went live. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> so confused. Um, we're going to talk about the Manafort trial, for sure. Um, or the Manafort case. Um, let's see, what else are we going to talk about this weekend? Might be a little bit of time for uh, an update on games and movies. Death Dealer Fox, what's good? Yes, we haven't talked about games and movies in a long yeah, time. Yeah, because there's a couple of movies that has been out. Yeah, but we're we're gonna. I'm gonna yeah. put together a daily schedule too. So like one day we're gonna talk about what's hot, and what's not, including yeah. music, movies, video games. So we're not ending up doing a four hour show on Sunday night because it's football football day, and I don't want to spend football day. Um. Talking about shows and movies. Um, hey, football, <laughs> football can get thrown in there now. <laughs> Usually we have a script when we do uh, Funk Shop TV. Um, but I'm trying to get in the hours and day logs chalked up. Oh, Death Dealer Fox, you were spamming symbols. You got muted. Don't be a bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> you got muted for five seconds because he was spamming uh, emojis, I guess. Um, we're going to talk about FEMA and talk about Trump and <laughs> talk about Sessions and a whole lot of stuff on Sunday. Sunday we're going to get really political. Um, <laughs> Sean went offline exiting host mode. So, that's weird. Maybe he's coming back. What's up? Just another day. Um, our Nightbot notified us that you were spamming symbols, so... They timed you out for five seconds. I don't know. That's what just not, that's what Nightbot says. I'm not gonna argue with it. I don't know much about it. I'm still learning. Um, this whole chatbot thing. Have you used chatbots before? I've used uh, one of them before. Yeah. But it, I don't think it was. What was that one called? Uh, we're using Streamlabs chatbot and Nightbot. They're both active. So. I used. I think I use either Nightbot or a different type of bot. Yeah. And you can put all the settings to where he can control all the anything verbal, timing, timeouts, things like that. What to look for. Word. Which is pretty cool. Is what working now, Sean? I've 
we've been watching on my phone the whole time, and it never switched over to you. Um, what to host? Yeah, you can't not while you're live. Yeah, it won't it won't switch over while we're live. Did we see what just happened? No, I did not. What just happened? What did I miss? I saw you went live. I got a notification that you went live, but we didn't see anything. Um, because it stayed in our. It stayed on in Funk Shop TV. It'll only go off Funk Shop TV, or it'll only go to to anybody we host if we end stream. Death Dealer, you can talk all you want, but that's what we're here for. What do you want to talk about? I'm down. That's what we're here for. Like I said, man, usually we have a script and we talk about all kinds of stuff. I uh, said, you guys were hosting me, then I went live off your host of me and filmed my own. Yeah, I we didn't see anything change at all, so... I did not catch that. Maybe I should have tuned in and paid closer attention, but we know me paying attention is a rare thing. Invive, inv, invive Fanti host. Uh, I'm going to think that you're saying infinite, but I don't know. Uh, everything... Okay, everything, bro. Yeah. Talk about whatever you want. I'm down to talk about whatever. We just have a whole lot of... Oh, so like the host ended up looping? Is that what you're saying? Death Dealer, you are a part of it, dude. You are a part of our life right now. Because you're being actively communicative. 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 You're definitely, uh, you're on, bro. What's up? I'm just trying to find some stuff I want to talk about that we're not going to cover this weekend. If you missed it, yesterday I went in and I gave my, uh, two cents on the MGK versus Eminem deal. Oh, Sean went live on his own computer screen of us hosting him going live of our hosting and filming that oh, I'll check it out <coughs> that's funny so we could like we I could pull up somebody's stream right now on Twitch and we could just sit here and talk about how stupid they are <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this yep. is dumb and talk how they look on the game they play. What's the, yeah, the game. man, look at this guy. He sucks. Yeah, look, look, he missed that shot, and the guy was right in front of him. I don't like negativity though. So, uh, Republicans are facing a bleak electoral landscape, and Trump is to blame. Put your seatbelts on, folks. Looks like we might be sh might be due for a recession soon. Not another one, but another one. And it's going to be ugly. Worse than the last one? I think it will be worse than the last one. Is it going to be uglier? Yep. Damn. Um, let's talk about North Korea for a minute. I heard Kim Jong-un made some demands because he wants the Summer Olymp Olympics. Let me find it. Oh, wait. So he wants Summer Olympics to be over there? Yeah. Yeah. North and South Korea plan to bid for the 2032 Summer Olympics. Let's see what he's had to say about that. Pyongyang, North Korea. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, South Korean President Moon Jae-in, said in a statement Wednesday that the country is planning to bid for the 2032 Summer Olympics. At a major summit, the two leaders gave no details of which cities might host certain events at the Games or how advanced the plans were. The International Olympic Committee traditionally does not announce host cities until seven years ahead of the Games. That would give the Koreas until 2025 to put together a joint bid. Germany has already announced plans for a multi-city bid for 2032, as has Brisbane, Australia. The India Olympic Committee has also indicated its interest in hosting the 2032 Games. 
A successful bid by the Koreas would mark the second time South Korea hosted or co-hosted the Summer Games, the first being 1988 in, in Seoul. Seoul. Sorry. I'm tired. Um, South Korea also hosted the PyeongChang Winter Games this last February. All right. That doesn't give any detail, but I heard some rumors. Let me see if I can find it now. U.S. looks like the third wheel after North Korea and South Korea agree to take steps toward denuclearization. This was posted today. Oh, yesterday, technically. He has us always asked for unprobable terms. That is definitely nothing new. Um, but the difference is, I what I heard is he's trying to make demands on the United States that we um, close some of our nuclear defense sites in order for them to denuclearize. So, I don't see that happening. Right, so he wants us first to go and then he'll, yeah. go, then he'll do it? Mm. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un agreed to make several steps toward denuclearization denuclear, to promote a land of peace after their summit in Pyongyang on Wednesday. Kim and Moon signed a document called the September Pyongyang Joint Declaration, which offered more spe specifics than previous agreements had in front of a gaggle of news reporters at their third summit meeting. Moon arrived Wednesday at the first South Korean president to visit Pyongyang in 11 years. The agreement included commitments to the permanent dismantlement of North Korea's primary nuclear facility in Yongbyon and to allowing international inspectors to observe the closing of an engine test site and missile launch pad. Moon prefaced this plan by noting the U.S. needed to reciprocate the measure, though it was unclear what specifically he had in mind. We have agreed to make the Korean Peninsula a land that is free from nuclear weapons and nuclear threat, Kim said. The road to our future will not always be smooth and we may face challenges and trials we can't anticipate. Kim and Moon also agreed to make a joint bid to host the 2032 Summer Olympics. The two countries competed together during the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea, despite some protests from conservative South Korean lawmakers and athletes. The move was part of an initial effort to improve relations between the two Koreans ahead of a summit between the U.S. and North Korea, which took place in June. Kim also said he pr promised to visit the South Korean capital of Seoul in the near future. Moon said a visit might take place this year unless there are certain special circumstances. A visit by a North Korean leader to Seoul, something that hasn't happened since the Korean pen peninsula was divided, would most likely spark mass protest as took place when North Korea delegation of athletes and musical performance visited the country during the Winter Olympics. Kim Jong Il, Kim Jong Un's father, who then led North Korea, made a similar promise to visit Seoul after a summit in 2000, but the trip never happened. While the two leaders expressed cautious optimism for the months ahead, the U.S., a key southern Korean ally, expressed concern over the developments. U.S.-North Korean diplomatic relations have seemingly stalled after Secretary of State Mike Pompeo suddenly canceled a planned trip to North Korea in August. President Donald Trump embraced Kim after meeting with him in, a Singapore, in Singapore in June. Conversely, Trump has publicly sought to drive a wedge between China and the North, at times accusing China of slowing the diplomatic process. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, a skeptic of North Korea's recent outreach to the international community, said he was concerned over Moon's visit to Pyongyang. Graham said in a tweet Tuesday that he feared Kim's visit to South Korea would undermine the U.S. maximum pressure strategy aimed at influencing North Korea. While North Korea has stopped testing missiles and nuclear devices, they have not moved towards denuclearization, Graham said, adding South Korea should not be played by Kim Jong-un. Following the declaration signing, however, Trump praised the development and called it very exciting. Kim Jong-un has agreed to allow nuclear inspections subject to final neg negotiations and to permanently dismantle a test site and launch pad in the presence of international ex experts, Trump said in a tweet Tuesday night. In the meantime, there will be no rocket or nuclear testing. Let's see how well that works out for us. Uh, what's new is we are good on that stuff. I am inspector and 
I am inspector and as always bullshit. Okay. Death Dealer Fox. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's really nothing new except they're definitely making it sound like we have to denuclearize as well. And with the issues that's going on with Russia, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, I do find it somewhat hypocritical that we are trying to strong arm people into denuclearizing if we're not doing it ourselves, but I am not in the White House for a reason. I'm too passive. We make propaganda and suddenly realize our lies don't help. Just think why. We know why. We know why. Oh, Jamie Herrera Butler's environmental voting record is out there. Let's see what this looks like. According to the scorecard, wow, I'm not going to read this all, but she voted down for the anti environment tax bill. She voted no on attack on Minnesota's national forests. She voted anti-environment for prioritizing power companies. Forest management public input, budget resolution, paving the way for, let's see, there's a huge list. Undermining the national ocean policy, slashing EPA funding, she did vote for that. <laughs> Death Dealer Fox, bro. You're just... Nightbot's gonna keep busting you. There's a whole, whole huge list of this. If anybody wants to check it out, scorecardlcv.org um, forward slash MOC forward slash Jamie, J-A-I-M-E dash Herrera dash Butler, B-E-U-T-L-E-R. Wouldn't that be Butler? Yeah, that's what I've been when I saw that. That was Butler. Um, Death Dealer Fox Nightbot doesn't like you putting a a whole bunch of emoticons in a row. Doesn't like that at all. Apparently, one at a time, buddy. One line at a time. Call me Ben Ben Wexler. I like I like reading Ben Wexler's treats tweets. You can find him in Twitter at Mr. Ben Wexler. He tweeted, Call me crazy, but I think having seventeen year olds worry that any sexual assault they commit now might follow them around for the rest of their lives would be a great thing. I agree. So many people when it when it's coming to the uh um Kavanaugh thing, a lot of people are like, Oh, that's old, he was in high school, it shouldn't matter now. If we use that excuse, man, that's just going to make a lot of people feel like they can go out and rape somebody and people are going to turn the other cheek. And if you let enough time go by, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, Death Dealer, I don't know what to tell you, man. Nightbox must not like you, apparently. Or maybe you're um, chatting too fast. I'm not sure. Still training Nightbot. <laughs> yeah, Nightbot doesn't like you. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. All right, well, I'm gonna head upstairs. Gonna take off my boots. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the camera so you can say bye to everybody. You can give me the camera. You can, you can take it off and hand it over to me. <clears throat> no, bro, you're on it. You're gonna hand it to me. No, bro, you're yeah, on it. I know. I'm still talking. That's why I'm going to hand me just having the camera and take it upstairs. There's nobody. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so it was nice to be down here for a few minutes. I wish I would stay longer, but my leg's killing me for some odd reason tonight. Well, tomorrow, though, tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's my Friday, thank God. But I work 2 to 11. I'm closing tomorrow. I'm usually off by 7, which I would really enjoy that, being off by 7, enjoy the rest of the night. But tomorrow I'm closing. So I'm guessing they switched the schedule on, on our other closer. But, um, so I'm out of here. Y'all have a good night. And if I don't see you sometime this week, I'll see you Sunday for sure. Because I'm off at 7 or, no, 8 on Sunday. Bro, quit slamming the table. You're vibrating the camera. Sorry. <laughs>
Alright, okay, I'll take everything off of here. See you tomorrow, man. <laughs> Alright, see you tomorrow. Good night. Adios. Adios. Yeah, I'm going to prop my leg up. Word. Oh, yeah, I'll help a little bit. Word. Other than that, I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> Probably all that, just slowly walking around and trying to find shit to do. Could be. It's because all of our Christmas stuff is not fully stocked yet. So it's like, we, there's not much to do until it's fully stocked and then I can start stocking and then zone it and you know, keep keep it stocked. So you're just trying to find stuff to do at work? Yeah, for like about another week until they actually put stuff up on the shelf. I mean, there's a couple items there, but you really can't do anything. Word. And they won't let us stock uh, after a certain time. I don't know why. I, I'll see you later. All right, man. Death Dealer. Um, I will, uh, I'll look into it. And figure out why Nightbot doesn't like you. I don't get it. Um, Nightbot doesn't even have an app, and I don't. I didn't even realize it was running. I thought you had to have the browser up for it to be running, but apparently not. You just have to activate it. So I don't know how that works. I am looking at uh, Streamlabs chatbot. It's not showing me what you did. I, we could talk about what it, talk about whatever. I'm down. All right, now I have to go look at Nightbot and see what's up. I'm still learning about a lot of this stuff. Sean, you're learning a new script writing software? Yeah. What are you uh, trying to work write s scripts for? I didn't save my this is lame This is crazy. That's better. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just going through some stuff, trying to find some stuff to talk about. And I'm learning how these bots work. I figured... The best time to go play with bots and stuff is at like 1 o'clock in the morning when I know people aren't going to be up and tuning in and watching me be stupid, trying to learn how all of this Twitch stuff works. Because we're constantly trying to make our Twitch channel better, and I am dedicated to improving the Funk Shop TV Twitch all the time. So, it's a pain in the ass sometimes, but we'll figure it out. It's going to be a lot easier when Sean gets back here when ice cream season's over. Hurry up, Sean. Just go liquidate all your ice cream and call it a day. In case you think that I'm talking to nobody, um, Sean is Ducey Ray. Adobe is getting rid of their script? Why would they do that? You're in the States for one week. Where are you at? Where are you at now and where are you going to? God, even scrolling through Facebook, it's boring. 
Usually I can find stuff to talk about when I scroll Facebook, but all I see is a lot of people whining about stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, so Adobe is getting rid of Adobe Story. Aren't they going to replace it with something else, though? It's not always a bad thing. Dude, apparently there's limited edition, a limited edition Mickey Mouse Oreos. Shout out to Nabisco. <laughs> You're going to Pyongyang. What are you going to Pyongyang for, bro? Yeah, I know where Pyongyang is. I, I don't think you're going to North Korea. Unless you're Dennis Rodman. Because they are still pretty strict about their travel. Um, and their border policies. You don't want to go there, bro. <sighs> Trust me. Al Franken was forced out of the Senate and criticized by Trump and Republicans after alleged allegations of kissing and groping a woman without her consent. There was no completed investigation, no hearings, and no trial. Now Trump and the same Republicans stand behind Brett Kavanaugh, a man accused of attempted rape. This is hypocrisy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> You're not going to see me in Pyongyang, bro. I am not going to North Korea. <clears throat> I have no need, no desire, no reason to ever go to North Korea. I guess I can't say ever because if the money was right I would probably show up there eventually but not anytime soon. Uh, Roseburg, Oregon. You have a high risk sex offender with significant history of violence at large. Keep your eyes open. Old bald bearded man. Probably uh just described 90% of Roseburg, but hey. That's what's up. Parents are hiring intimidated uncles to protect their child from, <laughs> child from school bullying. I hate bullies, man. You know, I was one when I was a kid. I'd fully admit that I was a bully when I was a kid. But I think I did it to compensate because I was picked on for being the fattest kid in school so much. Now that I look back, there were so many different ways I could have handled stuff. I wish I would have handled them differently. Um, and if I ever bullied you, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. To all the Trumpsters claiming Christine Ford is lying or that this made a... Or that this is a conspiracy made up by Democrats to stop Kavanaugh. Ford first brought up the incident back in 2012 during a therapy session. Ford first reached out before the Washington Post in early July of this year, before Kavanaugh was selected as Trump's Supreme Court nominee. At the end of July, Ford sent a letter to Dianne Feinstein and requested her name not be revealed out of fear. Ford then took a polygraph test and it found she was telling the truth, and now that her name has been exposed to the public, she's receiving death threats. If you don't believe this brave woman, you're part of what's wrong with America. I absolutely agree. Uh, me and my wife got to places that's not a recommendation, but the USA pay for people to cross. Huh. More power to you, bro. I'm not going. Best wishes and good luck. No need for me to be there. I did not know that De La Soul was on tour with Lauren Hill on the Miseducation of Lauren Hill 20th Anniversary Tour. Now I'm a little disappointed that I didn't pay more attention, because I really would have loved to see De La Soul. 
Sean, I want I need uh I need help figuring out how we can play a video on the feed on the stream and hear the audio of the video on the stream we're playing as we play it. So I need you found ice cream today. You have ice cream every day. Where did you find ice cream at? Maybe I'll just start start looking up links for funny stuff. We need some more funny in our lives. Um, I know some people that tried to go to North Korea and then weren't allowed access, so I don't, I'm, I'm willing to bet things change on a regular basis and we're probably not hearing the whole truth, but should be in the Streamlabs settings under system ca capture or something like that. Um... Yeah, I'll have to look it up. Let's see. I'm going into... If I make somebody a regular on... Hang on a second. All right, Death Dealer Fox, I tried to make you a regular on Nightbot. Yeah, these computer things are hard. I did look up some stuff that there's some settings on the computer. Um, so we'll still keep maintain the audio as well as put the audio through the output. Do both at the same time. So I'm working on that. Oh, USA did not help. I don't doubt that at all. I think with the current administration, a lot of administrations, for some reason we haven't been able to have a um, friendship with North Korea at all. But that's what happens. Looking at the logs. Maybe. All right, I just disabled the excessive symbols thing in our spam protection, so. You may be able to, <laughs> you might, you may not get muted again. Uh, just like a second screen capture, I would try to do a system audio capture when you do a second screen capture and play it off the second screen, that would be the way I would do it. Um, I always play the video clip off a second screen, uh, second screen, I just want the audio to be in the room so everybody that's here on the podcast can hear the audio from the video that we're playing at the same time. So I'll show you. I set it up with um, a browser window so we have the video playing. And as we play a video, let me pull up a video and play. You should be able to hear the video for this. Maybe not. You should be able to hear the video for this. Oh, obviously I have to work on the audio settings for this scene. I, I had it working yesterday, um, so obviously I have to play with it some more, 
and try to figure out what's, what's going on now. Sometimes I have to shut down Streamlabs and bring it back up for it to work, which is weird. At least I think it's weird. And I do notice that we are getting uh, multiple audio. So... If I mute audio, C920, not side cam. That should be working. Um, bet you're getting a lot more respect for all the tech people who run all that stuff. Oh, because I'm sitting here teaching myself how to do it. Let's see if this works. Audio, audio, audio. Are we working now? Still not. Weird. Because it shows the desktop audio is playing. Yeah, like on my screen it shows the desktop audio is playing, but it's obviously not coming through. Stupid jerk. Um, well, like I said, I, everything was working last night. Um, and I didn't change anything. And as far as on the mixer on Streamlabs, the bars are moving, so it's showing that the audio is working, but obviously nothing is coming through. Hold on. Be right back. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to get it to work. Baffles me. When I do it in my studio, I have to route channels three and four out of my sound card to the mixing auxiliary and route that to the sub channels and back into the sound card. So I have everything routed through the mixer via patch bays and bus channels. Yeah, that's a little too complicated for me. I want an easier solution. You know me. I'm going to figure out a way to do it the easy way. I'm going to delete that and then re-add it.
hire people. I don't want to hire people because I don't want to be lazy. I really want to learn how to do all of this stuff on my own. Yeah, Sean, Sean's our tech guy, but our audio tech and video tech. Sean's the guy that knows about all this shit. But if I don't know anything about it, if I don't learn, I'm never going to know. So learning is important to me. That's nothing. Great. Blank screen. Does it play audio though? Nope. I'll figure it out. At least I get to practice. Uh, going to hit the bullhorns. What does that even mean, bro? What bullhorns are you going to hit? See, it shows on my monitor under the Streamlabs mixer that the audio is moving, but it's goofy. I don't know. I just want to be able to pull up articles and watch videos and have all of our different screen cams on at the same time so everybody can hear it and we can hear it and we can all commentate on the videos that we're watching. So, that's what that's what my goal is. Because I want to be able to play some of these, like, Manafort and uh, Kavanaugh interview type stuff. And chat about it as we go. I'll figure it out somehow, some way, somewhere, someday. You, bro, you open it up. Open up, shut it down. Um, I we sit here and talk about random stuff all week long. So if you had if you had a character trapped in a room with no exits, eventually they start looking through the room for maybe some item that may help them escape. But it can't be a cell phone. It needs to be a way of communication. Maybe it communicated to this person's captors. If you had a care. Is this a fucking riddle, dude? <laughs> You're confusing me. Had a character trapped in a room with no exits. Eventually, they start looking through the room for maybe some item that may help them escape, but it can't be a cell phone. It needs to be a way of communication. Maybe it communicated to this person's captors. Sean, I don't know what you're smoking, but... You're confusing me. <laughs> you know what? I may know why. Let's try this again.
I may have figured out the problem. Um, dun -dum, dun -dum. Writing the story, but trying to come up with some sort of way of communication, but with without a second actor. Morse code. Let's see if this works. Hey, there's the audio. Oh, maybe not. Hey, there's the audio. Son of a bitch. Oh, maybe not. Hey, there's the audio. Son of a bitch. Oh, maybe not. Hey, there's the audio. God damn it. I thought that fixed it. How did I have it working last night? I see that. Um, let me see if I can turn off an iBot. I'm not very happy with it right now either. <laughs> yeah, Nightbot's being a bitch. Obviously.
turned it off the I think you're good now, bro. Yeah, I think I figured it out. You're good. I'm back to my issue about audio. Yeah, no problem. I'm still working on this video thing. I'm going to get this figured out before the night is over. Before I call it a day. Just watch. And that's not how. See if this will work. What's up, bro? What's hit you hard, bro? What's up? Um, nothing really. You know, I'm actually, my life is okay right now. Other than trying to figure out why this audio isn't working. And <laughs> now my mic isn't even working. Oh, I turned it way down. I think I'm going to have to just restart Streamlabs. This is frustrating. What does race mean to me? <laughs> you should have been on the other night. We had a discussion about the difference between race and uh, ethnicity. Um, what does race mean to me? <laughs> you should have been on the other night. We had a discussion about the difference between race and uh, I'm gonna What does race mean to me? That's the, that's a, a broad question. Like, race refers to a person's physical characteristics such as bone structure, skin, hair, or eye color. Ethnicity, however, refers to cultural factors, including nationality, regional culture, ancestry, and language. You can have more than one ethnicities, but you are said to have one race, even if it's a mixed race. I don't understand the difference between race and ethnicity too much. Race is associated with biology, whereas ethnicity is associated with culture. 
So I guess my race would be mixed with Finnish and Norwegian and Japanese and Native American and Irish, I believe. But my ethnicity would be American. How do I depict myself? A mutt. Heinz 57. I'm a little bit of everything. Very pale, very Caucasian looking, but I don't consider myself Caucasian. I don't, I don't think it, there's no such, I, I doubt there is anybody on this planet that is 100% anything. So. Nobody is full-blooded anything. At least in America. Very few people are. I'll leave it at that. What does race mean to you? And be honest. I'm not going to judge you. Dun dun dun. Full-blooded human. <laughs> Sean, you know, that that comment that you put out about you being an asshole, you're really not the biggest asshole I know. So, I know some a lot bigger assholes. I've been known to be a much bigger asshole in my day, but I'm trying to be a better person every day. It's not easy sometimes, but I can try. Our thoughts make the world go round. Yes, they do, unless your thoughts are full of hatred and bigotry and self-serving disrespect that shit to me makes the world stop I can't stand it garbage Unless your thoughts include a flat earth, then it don't go around. That's true. It's funny, man, because I keep hearing that there's a lot of fat earther, flat earthers around here. So I just saw a video of a flat, a fat guy. Um, I'm watching a video of a Texas man that was shot and killed in the alley behind his home. His two neighbors were charged with the murder, and there's actual video of it. I'd say the video is too graphic to put on Facebook, but watching some of the video games that people put on here, nothing's too graphic. So, I'll do a screen capture even though there's no audio apparently. I didn't watch the whole video. So you can see what the guy with the orange shirt apparently is aggressively talking to the other guy that's got a pistol in his hand. Man, I wish we could hear it. What does it say? Over trash. So these guys are pissed off. This guy left a left a bed. <laughs> it's garbage. And look at the dark haired guy. He looks like he's got a bullet wound by his right breasticle. Oh man, Twitch is probably gonna be, get mad. The garbage is <laughs> not what makes the world go around. I'm probably gonna get in trouble for putting this on Twitch. They're gonna they're gonna cover that out because Twitch doesn't allow boobies, even if they're man boobies. Sean, can you take this video and superimpose it and put bikinis on them? Man, 
man, I really want to hear this now. <laughs>